Hey, my name is Ty Cohen, and I've done really well with digital publishing, selling digital products such as books and subscriptions and coaching programs and live events and challenges and just anything in the digital format. And in this video, I'm going to tell you, would I go back to college if I had to start all over again? So when I was really young, I started in business um, at, I think, 19, 18 or 19, around that time I started my first uh, business. It wasn't a digital publishing business in a way that I run businesses now, but it was a business where I was selling toys, right? And in that business, I got it to a point where most months I was doing extremely well, extremely well, and it was something that I loved, right? So I'm doing really, really, really well, I'm making more money than, think of like a high level professional, professional, right? A doctor, a lawyer, I'm, I'm probably making more money or on par with those individuals. But I still decided to go to college. So I wanted to go to college to become uh, a registered nurse. I have sickle cell anemia, so you know, I wanted to go in and help other children that have sickle cell anemia and, and kind of help them to you know, do better in life. Now, I wasn't the type of individual that did well in school, so it took me a lot. Like it took, I had to really study, especially in high school. I had to really study in order to get things. And, and I kind of said, you know what? If I don't go to school, even though I've got this business that's doing well, I'm gonna be a failure, right? So if I don't go to school, even though I've got this business that's doing well, I'm not going to, you know, in the eyes of society, be looked at the right way. And plus I was the first one in my family um, that would have gone to school and completed it. Long story short, I made it and I went through the first six months and kind of dropped out. And then about a year later, I said, you know what, I'm gonna try it again. Got through maybe three months at that point, ended up getting sick, had to drop out and never went back again, right? So in hindsight, I kind of think, look, should I have not even put in the effort attempting to go to school and everything that goes along with it, registering, applying, right? Sending in um, the things that are required. And should I have just put that time into my business and accelerated the level of success that I was having at that time? And in hindsight, yes, that's exactly what I would have done. I would not have wasted the, the six months the first time. I would have not have wasted the three months the first time. Um, and I would have went straight into like doubling down on my business because it was something that I truly loved, enjoyed, and got paid extremely well for. Now I've started other businesses since then. Um, and I always have that question. So I've got four kids, right? And r three of my four kids have gone to college. My son is currently in college right now. If you ever two are, are done, they're past that period. And then my daughter, my 16 year old is on her way. So we're taking her to college visits and things like that. Now, my two youngest, the 16 year old, and then my 20 year old who's currently in college, they both have digital businesses that do really well for them. So, I always battle with that, like should they should they go to college or should they just double down on their businesses? And the answer is both. The answer is both. Because right now my son who's in college, his second year of college, he continues to run his digital business, right? So he gets that experience, but he also gets the experience of being able to be in college and meet new people and build those relationships and um, learn things in a direction that he wouldn't be able to learn uh, in his business. and. It also gives him an option, right? So if you guys have followed me for any point of time, you know that you know one of my biggest things and the thing that I really love about owning a digital business is the freedom and options that you get with it, right? You get that freedom um, that you normally wouldn't have if you're working for someone else, and you get those options that you normally wouldn't have if you're working for someone else. So there you go. My answer is if you're a young person, who, or an older person, right? Who's in their thirties and forties and you're going back to school. Start a digital business. Like it gives you the options of not having to worry about finances if you do it the right way. And it gives you the option of not having to worry about, you know, what you do with your time if you do it the right way, right? Um, and I'm curious, what would you do? If you were me and at 18, 19 years old, or if you had a, a son or a daughter or a granddaughter or a grandson, that at 18, 19 years old, was making you know, 10, 20, 30,000 dollars a month, would you tell them to pursue 
college or university, or would you tell them to double down on their business? I'm curious to hear what you're gonna say. Let me know in the comments box. I read every single comment, and I am extremely excited to hear about what it is that you're going to uh, give them advice-wise. Peace. Go in, like, share, and uh, subscribe. I need more subscribers, and I would love to have you as a subscriber, especially if you're disciplined enough to have watched this far into this video.